Hi everyone, it's Veronica and I am here to share with you the items that I will be selling in my craft fair for this year. You will see some of the same items that I did on last year. I redid those because they were good sellers. And then I will share with you the new items that I have included in the craft fair. All right, let's get started. I did these notepads again. This was a paper tray ink tutorial and that's where these pads came from. And this is the LOL paper and I used all the girls. Okay. I am also doing the chapsticks again. I love this. And they're so, oh, they're so easy and quick to put together. Love, love, love. And I get my chapsticks from Sam's um, Club. They have uh, the original strawberry, cherry, a mo and a moisture one. And I think that's the four flavors. Okay. I am also doing the nail polishes again. This box was a tutorial from Crafting with a Smile. Those turned out cute. And here's one in purple. This is always a sellout for me. These coffee cup gift card holders. This tutorial came from um, Scrapping the Details. And what I do in the cup is add some mints. So that always turns out so, 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 so cute. Here's another one. And I don't do a huge amount of items. I wouldn't do 20 of these because I don't want to bring any home. So I just do only so many and they always sell. The hot cocoa packs sold out for me. I did these the first time last year and they do really well. I ordered the marshmallows again from Oriental Trading. I have to find a way to keep this bag down. I don't like putting staples in it because if a child is opening it or even an adult and that staple goes across your finger, that is not cute. Okay. This is a big seller as well. These are blow pops. And I saw when uh, Jim Zyle had done this tutorial years ago. So I did that one, but I've also added the Santa hat and the reindeer. And I buy the blow pops from Walmart. They had a big bag. I think it's like 82 in there, something like that. All right. And so the reindeer and the Santa hat were new and these upcoming items are all new for me this year. Okay. Uh, I wanted to share with you how, and excuse my reach, my card sets turned out. So you had seen the cards. I did this for card set Saturday. And what I did was went ahead and stamped the sentiment. I know I could have typed it and then it wouldn't have been so wonky looking up here, but I just wanted uh, the person to see the font more so than anything. And this is, uh, I did bring that with me just in case you were interested in knowing and now I don't see it, but anyway, this is an MF, no, I'm sorry, not MFT, uh, paper tray ink stamp and die set. So what it is, is that this space is empty and there's a die for the word um, joyful. And there are a lot of sentiments on there and it uses um, that particular word. I'm sorry, I did not bring that with me. But anyway, I cut this out of um, some cards that I had to make sure I had the colors in there. And I ordered the boxes from clearbags.com. So I thought that turned out cute. So this is what the inside looks like. And then you can always stamp the word joyful as well because it has that stamp that goes along with it. And these are like their $5 stamp sets. And of course the die is a separate price, but it's really inexpensive. 
and this one that's what that looks like okay and oh I actually did bring it with me sorry yes I did so this is the stamp set yep see five dollars and I've had it this is just my first time using it so I was excited about that so it's not new but that's how that looks when you add the word joyful so again you can stamp the word joyful or you can use the die who's being there it is I just absolutely love this so that would be a good purchase okay and I think I'm going to run out of room here. I did um, the note uh, pad holder that Paulette Fullert did. I had done about five of those, I think. So I will be putting that in. And this is a pocket, an accordion pocket. I'll link that video in the description box so you can see the ones that I created. But here is one of the other ones. And I didn't put anything on the front because the idea is that this is going into a purse. So I did not put anything on the front at all. All right. And then I had purchased the Divinity Designs candy carrier. And it holds six Hershey Nuggets. It has a die for the wrapper. I chose not to wrap these because this was an assorted pack of Hershey's um, and I got that from Sam's also but I figured that people need to see what they're eating because so many people have allergies to nuts and things of that nature and the names of each of the uh, pieces is on the wrapper so they needed to see what they were eating and the colors were Christmassy anyway with the silvers and the gold so I just uh, thought I'd leave it as it was and these stickers came from Hobby Lobby and so did these bows. Okay and then I followed one of Amber's tutorials. I thought it was so cute because I've always wanted to do something with tea but didn't know how I wanted to package it. But how cute is that? And that was one of her recent videos. And this Oh Christmas Tea, Oh Christmas Tea, that is a sentiment from Jaded Blossom and I love these super super cute I was between this one and tease the season to be jolly super cute play on words but I thought those turned out so cute the packaging is very simple I didn't have to purchase any bags I already had some and then I just took a spellbinders die for the topper cut it out and folded it in half. The sentiment I stamped and then just did the flags at the end. So I thought those turned out really, really nice. Okay, and these bags I had shown. This is with a um, Divinity Designs die. And I had two male bags and three female. Just want to see how they're going to sell. This is the male one. And each bag has a card with the envelope. And then I put bath and body stuff in here. Uh, this is the lotion and the body wash for the men. And for the ladies, I have the body cream and the fragrance mist. And this is a nice scent. I love it. All right, so that's that. And then um, I had created this for my series. This is that um, stationary desk set. So I had it. I probably won't be using it myself. So I said, let me just put it in and see what happens. So it'll be sitting open on my table. So I can get it. Ooh, what is that? Okay. 
and I also showed this the other day in a video the tonic studios handbag and one of the hand creams in there from Bath and Body And if you, if you had seen the video, you remember that I said on one of them, it didn't come out as crafted as I would have liked for it to. I went back and discovered that all it needed was more glue on the side. So that was a good thing. I didn't put quite enough. All right. And then I saw Erica's video um, last year with these uh, snowman jars. How cute is that? Super, super cute. So I made some of those. And a tip if you're going to do these, screw the lid on with the head on, everything already assembled before you put this piece on so they can match up when you screw that lid on. Okay, but that's the jar empty. And this is the jar full. So we'll see how those work. And the last new things that I am doing are these bath bombs. That is so, so adorable. Jan sent me a photo of the ones that she had done and I just fell in love. So they are so, so super cute. Every bath bomb is lavender. And I got those from Walmart. And here's the penguin. You just tie that together in the back. All of this was in my stash, the buttons and the bows. And all the ribbon and flowers were in my stash and the bells as well. So those are my items for the craft fair. It is being held November 9th. So I'm just praying that all goes well and I sell, sell, sell. Thank you all for stopping by and watching. Happy crafting. Sorry guys, I forgot one other item that will be on my table. I did these last year. And this is the instant coffee holders. This is digital paper that I purchased last year. And then I typed the sentiment out. This is a tag topper from Stampin' Up. And that's just the back side. But these sold out as well. All right, thanks.